This is the first night of Navaratri. And this night and this day, the coming day after this, <clears throat> is dedicated to the feminine nature of the divine. Durga, Lakshmi and Saraswati are used as the symbols of these three dimensions of the feminine. They also represent the three basic qualities of existence, tamas, rajas and sattva. Tamas literally means inertia, rajas means activity, passion, sattva in a way is breaking of boundaries, dissolution, melting and merging. Among the three celestial objects to which the very making of our bodies are very deeply connected, the earth, the sun and the moon. Mother Earth is considered tamas. The sun is rajas, moon is sattva. <coughs> Those who aspire for power, for immortality, for strength. They will worship those forms of feminine which are referred to as tamas, like the Kali or the Mother Earth, those who aspire for wealth, for passion, for life and various other gifts that the material world has to offer. They, asp they naturally aspire towards that form of the feminine, which is referred to as a Lakshmi or the sun. Those who aspire for knowledge, knowing, transcendence, immortality of not the body, but transcending the limitations of the mortal body, they will aspire for that aspect of the feminine which is referred to as the sattva or saraswati is the representative of that or the moon. These three will follow the next three days Today is the day of Durga or Kali, tomorrow is the day of Lakshmi, the day after is the day of Saraswati. This is arranged in this way because it's after all from the earth that we arise and we could live an active life which is rajas, the second nature of the Devi. The third one may come your way or may not. If you have to bring her down into you, you have to strive 
Otherwise, uh, she will not get down to you. Kali is on the ground. Lakshmi is sitting on a flower. Saraswati is riding a peacock. I think everybody is supposed to pick up three sentences of Tamil by now. <laughs> so, uh, these three days are the days of the feminine, for those of you who are not aware of this. The Linga Bhairavi has been consecrated with three basic chakras. This man has all the seven, she has only three chakras to represent three… these three dimensions of tamas, rajas and sattva. Tamas is the nature of the earth and today is her day and she is the one who gives birth the whole… Uh, <clears throat> the gestation period that we spent in the womb, our womb time is tamas, it's like a… a state which is almost like hibernation but it's growing. So tamas is the nature of the earth, of your birth. The moment you come out then you start activity. Rajas begins. If you are aware enough or fortunate enough, sattva will touch you. Otherwise, the color of rajas, it's good as long as the going is good. When the going gets bad, rajas is going to be super bad. So, these nine days, above all, to approach every aspect of life in a celebratory way, this is most important. If you approach everything in a celebratory way, you learn to be non-serious about life but absolutely involved. The problem with most human beings right now is, if they think something is important, they will become dead serious about it. If they think it is not so important, they will become lax about it. They don't show the necessary involvement. That's not it. The passage, the secret of life is in this, this. Seeing everything with a non-serious eye, but absolutely involved like a game. That's the reason most profound aspects of life are approached in a celebratory way so that you don't miss the point. If you're serious, our rumba serious hai krangani narto artapadi. You know in Tamil language or even in English probably, He's in a very serious condition, means <laughs> next step you know where. <laughs> and lot of people are in a serious condition. <laughs> There's only one thing that's going to happen to them which is of any significance. Rest will bypass them because anything that they think is not serious, they are unable to show involvement and dedication towards that, that's the whole problem. There are any number of lily ponds around the ashram, compared to any other flower, lily blooms fastest. You know, within about an hour's time, from a uninteresting bud, it becomes a spectacular flower. 
How many of you took time to sit there for an hour and watch it actually opening up? No, <laughs> you're watching a flower bloom <laughs> We got more important things to do because <laughs> if we have time, we will go into our room and open the computer and watch a video. Why will I sit and watch a goddamn flower blooming? That is the reason why you don't flower for a long time. Because you do not know how to pay attention to the smallest detail of your life. If you do not know how to pay attention to this, breath, what do they do watch? then you're missing the whole point. So, it is because of this that spiritual process seems to be sitting up there in the sky. It is not sitting up there in the sky. It is very earthy. It is something that every human being can do, but most never ever do. Fantastic humanity we have, really. <laughs> You're a marketing guy, you're not a biologist, are you? You? No, no. You're not… you're also marketing. Why are you all sitting in a diagonal line like this to me <laughs> So If you want to market something, first of all you have to have a good produce, isn't it? You have to have a good product. If you do not focus on producing a good product and you just focus on marketing, that's called bullshit, isn't it? So that's also called gossip. That is also called ignorance. And the reason why enlightenment seems to be such a rare thing is not because it's hidden somewhere, it's not because you have to move this mountain to get it. It is just that because you thought the blossoming of the lily flower is not important, that's the reason. It is this still earth which seems to be Manne, in America it's dirt. It is that dirt which flowers as a spectacular flower. It is that dirt which has become this. So if you think that's dirt, you're a dirt bag, aren't you? So today is the day. Now you're sitting rooted to the earth. You see sitting on a mattress. Oh, it's a flying carpet, that's why she's here. You're sitting on the earth, you must just learn to simply be one with her. You're anyway part of her. Only when she wishes, she throws you out. When she wishes, she sucks you back. So what was absolute inertia now has become a dynamic rajas. This may transcend or may again go back to the same thing. Durga Lakshmi, Durga Lakshmi, Durga Lakshmi, Are you preparing for Durga Lakshmi? Our own run. Durga Lakshmi, Durga Lakshmi, Saraswati never happened. That means you are in the cycle. You're in the trap of life and death, life and death, life and death. Transcendence is yet to come. So these two will anyway happen. What is in a state of inertia will get into a state of rajas and activity. And again fall back and become inertia for a certain period of time and again get back into activity. This is happening to you as an individual. This is happening to the planet. This is happening to the galaxy. 
this is happening to the whole cosmos. It goes into a state of inertia and then becomes dynamic and again goes into a state of inertia. But the important thing is, this one has the capability to break the cycle and transcend. So these three dimensions of the Devi are enshrined in the form of Bhairavi or Linga Bhairavi. So these three days, you must be able to draw these three dimens, dimensions of existence and sustenance for yourself because you need all these three. The first two are needed for your survival and well-being. The third is an aspiration to go beyond. So Navaratri starts off with this not only fabulous symbolism, it is also energy-wise true every month. It is not just once in a year. Every month after Amavasya, the first three days are like this. Amavasya is a state of inertia where the five elements are going through a certain integration within themselves. The next day is in a placid inertia state. Then it gets active, then there is room for transcendence. The moon begins to appear. This is why the third day's moon is held as very important, you know, Moon Ramparek. The third day's moon is held as very important because the possibility of transcendence has opened up. What was in a state of inertia and then in a state of activity and entanglement now has opened the possibility of transcendence. This is every month it is happening. This particular month is a little more pronounced because this Amavasya was more pronounced than the rest of the Amavasyas during the year. Of all the twelve or sometimes thirteen Amavasyas, this particular one is the strongest one, which was yesterday. Today, is the first day. Today is the day of Durga or Kali. So Durga Lakshmi, Durga Lakshmi Saraswati Rambai Rupayar. Every evening, when we are doing this, Durga Lakshmi Saraswati, Pula Avra. DLS and Kupula. <laughs> 